hope you remember what we did in the last class. We were discussing one particular letter assuming two sounds at two different places. We have already seen ta being pronounced as ta and da. Now, I take up ta. What is its related nasal na? Naturally, it must be a consonant. So, I put another letter in the beginning. What is this? A in the. Ta being pronounced as the after the nasal. A in the and the. And the is that. Naturally, you have. In the, this will be this. This is in the which. Please remember a e a are indicative. They always go together. If you know one word, naturally you can form the other two. So, on the that, in the this, in the which. So, also Tandam. I use this to indicate the two different sounds of the same letter. The first letter is ta, and the second time when it occurs after the nasal, it assumes the sound da. Ta in da im tandam tusk. Let me see whether any of you can read this. Anybody? Cha in da na yam. Cha in da na yam. I have introduced one more letter at the end. Sandanam. The again after a nasal sandanam sandal. Let us have a few more words. Pa in du pandu a ball. Pa in the il pandal, pandal a temporary shed. Nowadays, it is being written as pandal in English newspapers. Pa in da il pandal, and this is pa in du pandu, a ball. I expect at least one of you to raise a question. Anybody? No. All right. 
a in the on the that e in the in the this a in the in the which you may recollect that i have made use of some other words meaning that this and which do you remember அது இது எது அது தட் இது திஸ் எது விச் நவ் தட் யூ ஹவ் லேர்ன்ட் அனதர் செட் ஆஃப் லெட்டர்ஸ் நேச்சுரலி திஸ் கொஸ்டன் உட் ஹவ் ரிசன் இன் யுவர் மைண்ட்ஸ் ஒய் டூ வி ஹாவ் டூ டிஃபரெண்ட் செட்ஸ் ஆஃப் பேர்ட்ஸ் டு இண்டிகேட் த சேம் is a natural question anybody could question there is a difference between these two one basic thing you have to remember this a in an indicative form always denotes a distance and e stands for closeness or proximity and a is an interrogation so also adu stands for a distance idu means the proximity yedu stands for which now the question is what is the difference between this one and this one it is a grammatical variation a grammatical variation on the in the in the this one set we shall take up first on the is that and this is a definite article on the in the in the all the three are definite articles whereas adu idu and edu are demonstrative pronouns this set is definite article and that adu idu and edu are demonstrative pronoun please remember that and the will function as an adjective to a noun on the on the maram mara im maram maram is tree that was taught long back on the maram that tree and in the in the weed in the weed in the oor what is oor town or a habitat in the oor now you will see all these three function as adjectives to the following noun so they are definite articles whereas adu idu and edu are demonstrative pronouns 
will take this up later. Here we found sa assuming the sound of da after a nasal and we have had a few examples. Next we take up pa. The nasal letter for this hard sound is ma. You put a dot on it and make it a consonant and can you read this a m bu pa becomes ba after a nasal after its own nasal a m bu am bu an arrow ka im bu kambu millet ko im bu kumbu a stick pa yum bu pam bu a snake pa yum bu pam bu a snake can you read this pa yum ba ra yam pambaram pa becomes ba after nasal pa yam ba ra yam pambaram a top let us go in for words which have more uh, letters Can you read? Chi la yum bu, chi lam bu, chi lam bu. You know, before the nasal, I have put two letters. Whereas we have been seeing birds which have only one letter before a nasal. Chi lam bu, an anklet, an anklet. Chi lam bu. do you know an epic in tamil carries this name as its title it's called chelapadigaram that is from chilambu and anklet ku la yum bu kulambu kulambu is a hoof a hoof of a horse or cattle i change only one letter in between this is ku ra yum bu kulambu here i have put ku la yum bu kulambu here i have put kulambu kulambu is gravy kulambu and kulambu you must have a practice of pronouncing these two together so that your pronunciation of la and ra will be clear this is kulambu and this is kulambu kulambu as a noun 
stands for gravy. Kulambu as a verb means to be confused. Let us not be confused with the verbal form now. We ru yum bu, we bu, to like. A ru yum bu, a bu, a bud. Ka ru yum bu karum bu sugar cane one more so that you will have all the combinations this is ru and we had ra la earlier ta ru yum bu tarum bu a scar tarum bu of the hard sounds we have covered five of them the last one is Ra. Its nasal component is na. Ka in ru, kan ru, a calf. A in ru, an ru, that day. Or then. E in ru, in ru, today. A in ru, in ru, you can say which day or when. Again you find a standing for a far off thing, that day or then. In ru, a close up one, closer one and are uh, indicating proximity. In ru, in ru, interrogative. Andru that day, Indru today, Indru when. Kundru a hill. Na in dri, nandri, thanks. Pa in dri, pandri, a pig.
So, this ra preceded by na is pronounced the same way because it has no other alternative sound. Kundru a hill, nandri thanks, pandri a pig. So, this is a part of pronunciation that is to say one letter having two sounds. Now, I am going to give you a few verbs with which I will continue these lessons. To, da, ing, gu, todang, gu. Now, you will read this as gu because of the nasa and you will read this as to because it is in the beginning and this one may baffle you. This was taught earlier. Any hard sound if preceded by another letter becomes soft in its pronunciation. So, this will be da, to, da, ing, gu. You have one hard, two soft sound. To da in gu, to dang gu, to begin. So, we are beginning from here words and also sentences, small sentences which will help you to construct an idea and form a sentence. This is a beginning because I have given you a verb meaning to begin. Can you read these two words? Pa D, Pa D. I will give you a clue. Both of them are verbs which I have already discussed. Pa di pa di. Here again you see the soft sound. Ye ru du, ye ru du. Again the same. Pa di means to read. Ye ru du means. To write and lastly we saw one verb Todangu to begin. So now Todangu begin. Padi read Yurudu write. Padi read. A command. Yerudu write a command. So, from today, concentrate on reading these lessons and writing these letters. While writing, pronounce them so that you go with the letters, with the words, and with the sounds so that while constructing there will not be any difficulty either in choosing the letters or writing the words or pronouncing them.